once we were warriors, before the machines made us soft, when the world stood in awe of courage, strength, and commitment. That spirit is alive still. This is once again the hour of the gladiators. Gladiators. The crowd's ready for action, and so are we. Well, there's plenty planned tonight, so let's get on with it. Here are the hosts of our show, Kimberly Joseph and Aaron Pedersen. Good evening, and welcome to another exciting contest of the Superfit. Each of our challenges are pumped up tonight for a gruelling physical endurance where their bodies will be stretched to the limit. Yes, and also their concentration and coordination must be at their optimum level. You have to stay on top and you have to have the stamina to match our thoroughbreds of the circuit. Please welcome the Gladiators! Gladiators! Here they are! Vulcan, Cheetah, Hammer, Blade, Taipan, Fury, Condor, Flame, Cougar, Rebel, Force, Delta, Tower and Storm. And our brave female challengers are Tracy Nicholson and Bernadette Withers. Bernie is 23. She's from Narang on the Gold Coast. 57 kilos, she's a student and has been a competitive gymnast for eight years. Tracy is 24, from Paddington in New South Wales. Tracy's right into water polo. She's a fitness trainer who loves running along the beach to keep her body in shape. Here are our enthusiastic challengers ready to participate in tonight's events, Tracy and Bernadette. Welcome ladies, Bernadette, you're studying sports psychology. That's right, it's a new area for me, but it's something I'm really looking forward to getting into. So does that mean you've got our gladiators sussed out? Uh, well, I'll give them my best shot. Any that you're uh, particularly worried about coming up against? Um, just all the big ones. <laughs> OK, all of them. Right. <laughs> so now, uh, you also do gymnastics. Are you looking forward to Hang Tough? Yeah, Hang Tough's my favourite um, event. Uh, did a lot of swinging on the monkey bars when I was younger, so hopefully it'll pay off tonight. Well, let's see if all that practice does pay off. Good luck to you tonight. Now, Tracy, you uh, have done modelling and also some uh, bodybuilding, body shaping. Yeah, I compete in body shaping. I won the East Coast Championship last year and got second in Australia. A very talented lady indeed, and I understand you're uh, going off to America shortly. Yeah. June, I'm heading off to America to uh, go over for a camp counsellor um, and hope to get into the fitness industry, uh, do some fit camps over there. Well, you may well be able to compete in the American Gladiators. You never know, Kimberly. Well, good luck to you both tonight. Thank Please you. give a warm welcome to Bernadette and Tracy. Competing against our male gladiators are Andrew Halliday and Adam Cooney. Andrew is 28, 5 foot 11 from Middle Park in Victoria. A personal trainer who loves exercise, 14 times a week on average. Adam, 23 from Mount Gravatt, Queensland, is a uni student. 85 kilos, a state champion cyclist. Adam believes his strongest attribute is his attitude. Please welcome Andrew and Adam. Well, that was a bit of a team effort entrance, but it's not a team tonight, it's all individual. Yeah, it is a little bit individual tonight. A little bit of everything, I think, will be called for, so... Well, Adam, firstly, you're a uni student. How do you find time to study and fit the, put the fitness in? Uh, it's not easy, but somehow I managed to do it, so... Hopefully I can keep it up for the rest of the year and keep everything on target. So you try and find a bit of equilibrium there? Yeah, I do. Yeah, do you find it difficult? I mean, you are a competitive bodybuilder, or you, you have tried to be anyway? Yeah, I've actually done a few competitions and I'm, I do it more for myself and just the, the keeping fit aspect of all of it. And uh, you think the weight training and everything that's prepared you for Gladiators tonight? We'll soon find out, won't we? <laughs> we will. Well, good luck, Adam. Thank you. Andrew, you're a personal trainer? Yeah, yeah that's right. Um, I train people uh, probably 40 hours a week and um, manage, manage to keep myself fit 
during that period of time, yeah. Well, anyway, boys, I'd like to wish you best of luck for Gladiators. Put your hands together for Adam and Andrew. And now, let the competition begin. Gladiators. There's only one tactic on suspension bridge. Stay on your feet and give as good as you get. Suspension bridge. The challenger gets 10 points if they get past the gladiator and onto the platform. Tracy is our first challenger trying to get to the other end, the gladiator's platform, but she'll have to get past Storm. And the man controlling the game, John Alexander. Challenger, ready. Gladiator, ready. Three, two, one. Oh, Storm's a tornado. The blows are raining down, and there goes Tracy, seven seconds. The heavens really open up. One, two, three, Storm deluges Tracy. Tracy, it ended so quickly. Unfortunately, no points. Were you worried about that game? Uh, not really. It's just a matter of getting out there and giving it a go. Not the best start to Gladiators. Uh, first game, suspension bridge. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a tough one. It's those really quick blows straight on. <laughs> well, Storm went straight for you. Yeah, she certainly does. Storm, you weren't going to relent? Well, it's my job, and uh, on the suspension bridge, none shall pass. Let's hear it for Tracy and our Gladiator Storm. Well, Storm really strutted her stuff. But now, Bernadette comes face to face with Flame. John Alexander, it's all yours. Calendra, ready! Ready, Ador, ready! Three, two, one! It's a charge straight into the line of fire. Bernadette landing a few effective blows. Great competition. A backhander from Flame, and Bernie's off balance. She's going, going. Oh, this is some balancing act. She's up. Great work, Bernie. Bernie back in. Oh, backhander from Bernie takes her out. Nearly Flame as well. Things were smoking on the bridge tonight, and it's Bernie who takes herself out. Bernadette, no points. No, not where, yet. <laughs> not yet, but where does all that feistiness come from? Oh, I think there's no other way to go. You can't give up. Oh, it's supposed to be Flame, who's the fiery one. <laughs> Watch out, Flame. <laughs> now, Flame, that was a, a very, very exciting match there. <laughs> it was extremely exciting. You were great. You were really good. <laughs> Did you think you were gone there for a while? Well, when I sort of started going head first, I just thought, no, I'm not going to fall off. <laughs> so I just did a, a full 360 degree and... <laughs> I'm afraid that's the one that got you through. <laughs> okay, well, no points for Bernadette, but a very good try. Excellent. Thank Thanks. you. No luck for either of our female challengers, so zero each. This is Andrew's first event, and he's keen to gain those points. And the only way to do that is to topple the tower. And the man to start the game, John Alexander. Challenger, ready! Ready, Ador! Ready! Three, two, one! Andrew strikes the first blow, but then Tower crashes down on him. It's demolition time for Andrew. Well, Tower looked like he was in a hurry to get home, and Andrew just got in his way. Andrew, you've really got to work for those points. Oh, I thought I had him, actually. I gave him that really big job on the head, and then I thought, oh, if I just chop his head off and finish him, then, yeah, I thought I had it. Tower, he nearly put you off there. Yeah, he gave me a good one to start with, but uh, the weight difference, uh, I like to rock the bridge, get him going a bit, and uh, he just lost his balance, and uh, that's the way it goes. We've got to make it hard, so I made it hard. Let's put it together for Tower and Andrew. <laughs> Well, Andrew didn't last too long up against Tower, but now let's see if Adam can do any better up against the all-conquering Condor. Let's go! 
And now to start the game, John Alexander. Challenger, ready. Gladiator, ready. Three, two, one. Those hammerheads might be padded, but these two are giving it everything. Condor's literally bending his pole around Adam's helmet, and Adam returns a compliment. Condor's playing cricket, and he knocks Adam for six. What a sweep, all the way to the boundary, but a gutsy stand by Adam. Adam, unfortunately, no points, but my goodness, what a fight you put up. Well, I'm glad to hear that I put up a fight. You're sweating, aren't you? Yeah, I am a little bit, but you get that. Now, did you go in with a plan of attack? I actually did, yeah. It didn't work, though, obviously. I saw that first blow to uh, Condor's head. Did you like that blow? Oh, it was very impressive, but the rest of the match was impressive, too. Well, that's good, I'm glad. <laughs> Condor, congratulations. You were all fired up there. Yeah, I thought it was another uh, gladiator there, so I was really revved up. Honestly, I wouldn't like to be in Adam's position because you really gave it your all. But I'm the gatekeeper. Nobody gets past. Nobody! Fighting words from the Condor. So after the first game, both Adam and Andrew hate to get on the board. Reaching through this jungle of ropes requires a lot of upper body strength and tactics. Coming up next, we have Hang Tough with Fury. Don't annoy this woman. Fury well deserves her name. 26 years old, 5 foot 7, 60 kilos of lightning fast determination and attitude. Fury, I can live with Fury. Can you? Hang tough, I can hang tough. Bloody ears. To reach your opponent's zone while swinging from rings isn't easy. That's why we call it hang tough. Hang tough. 60 seconds to get past the attacking gladiator. 10 points if they make it. Travel, fitness and dance, that's me. I came on the show to be a gladiator. If they didn't pick me, they're going to regret it. Tracy Shaw got her hands full with this one, but defending her territory is Fury. And now to start the game, John Alexander. Challenger, ready. Gladiator, ready. Three, two, one. Tracy makes her first move. And Fury's out for the kill from the other end. Tracy's hanging around, obviously plotting her next move, but the rules are you must keep moving forward. You must move forward, Challenger. Oh, no wonder she's hesitating. You must move Fury's forward, got Challenger. the Challenger dead in her sights. And she locks onto her target. Tracy's caught one-handed. Oh, fuck! Oh, I felt that. But Tracy looks fine. When Fury says it's time to go, it's time to go, Tracy. Bombs away. Tracy, unfortunately for you, no points there, but you you were off to a good start. Heading out there, um, you just gotta change your direc direction as quick as possible. If not, it's like in there, full on. Well, Fury, you seem a little bit angry at the moment. 
Not angry, Kim Kimberly. I'm actually quite pleased. Not perhaps with the uh, the fall. Wasn't as graceful as I usually am, but uh, yeah, I'm happy. It was a good game, that's for sure. Did you feel in control of it all the way? 100%. 100%. Total commitment. Fury owns those rings. You'd better believe it. Once Fury's got you in her sights, you're finished. Now it's Bernadette's turn to take to the rings. And up against her is the razor-sharp Blade. And the man with the whistle, John Alexander. Challenger. Ready! Gladiator! Ready! Three! Two! One! Come on, Bernie, time to move. And there she goes. Heading to the red zone. Traversing rather than heading straight. A <laughs> good strategy, if it works. Blade making it look easy as she shadows every move. Blade keeping in close touch. Still hanging in. She's looking great, Blade. She reaches out, and what a close shave. Now Bernie's desperately grabbing for a handhold on another ring. Blade swipes at her again, and somehow Bernie slips away. Bernie looking for another ring, so is Blade. There's not one in sight, but Blade's found one. She's got the advantage as she lunges. Bernie gets away for a third time. Great work. Not this time, Bernie. Blade lunges. She's got her, and she cuts her down. Blade's happy with that result. She's head over heels with that workout. Bernie never stood a chance. Oh, Blade's all over her. Bye-bye, <laughs> Bernie. Bernie, you started traversing. Where were you going? Oh, uh, well, I was just trying to go anywhere the blade wasn't. <laughs> but you ran straight into her. Blade, you were successful. Yes, very. It was a good battle, but finally I got there. Well, you wanted the, well, you wanted the ring, Bernie wanted the ring, but then you took it and then grabbed her. I wanted it more. And you wanted to take her off more? Absolutely, it's my job. Well, let's hear it for Blade and Bernie. <laughs> No score for either Bernie or Tracy on Hang Tough. So after two games, it's still nil all. The action continues on the rings. Our challenger, Andrew, faces the deadly Taipan. I train seven days a week. I'm a wild rollerblader. And when I've got some time, I spend it with my girlfriend. I'm on Gladiators because it's tough, it's rough, and I know I can do it. Now here to start the game, John Alexander. Challenger! Ready! Gladiator! Ready! Three! Two! One! Andrew seems to be in no hurry to go. Finally takes off. Oh, Taipan doesn't seem to know where he's going. And he changes his tactics in mid-air. Andrew now waiting. Traverses to the side. Good work, Andrew. Taipan looking for a ring. There's one right in front of him. Andrew ever so watchful. Taipan getting closer. This is dangerous for Andrew. Grabs for the ring and holds it. What can Taipan do here? Just swinging away. This could be the one. Yes, he's got him. Taipan's got him. What a great hold from Taipan. Can Andrew hold on? This will be interesting. He's got him in the headlock. Oh, Andrew, he's holding on. This is great strength. He's trying at something that's not in the book. He's trying to go off the rings. The helmet comes off and so does Taipan. Andrew's only competitor now is the clock. Can he do it? Taipan looks stunned. There's the whistle. That's an illegal hold by Taipan. I'm sure the ref will have to do something about that. Well, congratulations. Taipan has been disqualified and you've got 10 points, Andrew. Thanks a lot. No. I just want, can I just check that head's still on there? Yes. Yeah. Jeez, he's going to rip it off. That was the best necklace I've ever worn in my life. <laughs> it was beautiful. Thanks, Taipan. Now, when you were tra you traversed to begin with, him coming at you, it's, a, it's an awesome sight. I, I saw him. He was swinging there for a while, and I, I didn't actually think he was going to traverse across to get me. I, th I thought he was stuck. Well, I couldn't have, <laughs> couldn't have been further from the truth. <laughs> Very true. I was going to say, for those people at home, how much does he weigh? Just then, he felt like two ton. <laughs> well, that's exactly it. Taipan, what do you got to do to remove him? Well, 
Very smart by Andrew to uh, put the glue on his hands before he got up there. <laughs> Very strong hands. And uh, can't do any better than that. Your head's still on. We'll see you in the next game. Let's hear it for Andrew and Taipan. Not a happy boy, our Taipan. He doesn't like losing. Well, Andrew, I've never seen anyone survive a Taipan attack quite like you did. Congratulations. But now it's time for Adam to test his strength and for Cougar to swing into the attack. John Alexander, it's all yours. Challenger, ready. Gladiator, ready. Three, two, one. Stop now. Adam taking too long to start. He's off now. Getting a lot of speed up with that swinging motion. And here comes Cougar. Adam traversing to the right. Cougar looking for an opportunity to pounce. Adam aware of that. Adam swinging away now. Does a 360, goes onto another ring. Great swinging motion by Cougar. He's ready to strike. He's got him this time. Cougar has. Adam trying to go up the rings the same as Andrew did. Cougar's got a great hold. What can happen here? Oh, Adam's let go and Cougar's fallen. He's lost his prey. Bad luck, Cougar. You're down, but Adam's still up there against the clock. Cougar urging him down, telling him to get down. He's not happy with him at all. He wants a piece of him. Adam looking for another ring. There's none around. Oh, it's time to drop out for Adam, but a great effort. And great sportsmanship. Cougar working on Adam's right arm, but a smart move to let go of the ring. Adam, we thought you were going down, but you proved us wrong. You just gained yourself five points. Wow, that was a real, real tough struggle for you, wasn't it? Yeah, he certainly didn't make it too easy for me. But I wasn't going to let him have it too easily himself. And have you done any gym work before? No, I was born like this. <laughs> like a monkey. <laughs> so uh, how did it feel when he came face to face with you? It's a little bit of a worry, but I think I've got these guys sussed out. The size difference isn't, isn't that much there, Cougar. What happened? Oh, he's a strong boy. Full credit to him. Um, I was just out there doing my job and... It just turned out tonight that I didn't, just didn't get him, but he did well. Congratulations to Adam! It's a five point for Adam for staying up there. Ten for Andrew's mighty effort. Two games in, Adam five, Andrew ten. Rolling around in this high-tech minefield requires nerves of steel, especially when you're trapped in an iron ball. Coming up next, Atlasphere. Condor is a current Australian kickboxing champion who won't step back from any battle. He loves a fight. The rougher, the better. I knock him down. Bloody. Don't let my looks fool you. I like you. Bloody ears. Imagine trying to spin a 220 kilogram bowling ball from the inside. Atlas spheres. Both challengers are locked inside their Atlas spheres. Two points when they cross the white floor pods. 
I do gymnastics, a uh, bit of running, but my passion is rock climbing. I came on Gladiators just simply because I thought it'd be a lot of fun, and I definitely wouldn't mind winning some of the prizes. This will be interesting. In the red ball, we have Bernadette. Tracy is in the blue. And to prevent them from scoring is the job of Delta and Rebel. Delta is in the silver. And Rebel is in the white sphere. And to start the balls rolling, John Alexander. Challengers, ready. Gladiators, ready. Three, two, one. They're off in the demolition race. Half a ton of white steel with Rebel on board rolling into the centre for the mandatory start. And bang, there goes her no claim bonus. Tracy in the blue ball heads for the first goal and gets it. Tracy now breaks away with Delta giving chase. And over number two goes Bernie in the red, two points each. Tracy gets a big knock on the front there. Bernie's on a roll. Rebel tailgating. She rams Bernie away from the goal. Bad luck, Bernie. Bernie in the red picking up speed. She's heading for number four. But she just misses out. Rebel goes in the reverse. While in the blue, Tracy makes her way to another score. Yes, she's got it. Rebel didn't like that one. And she slams Tracy head on. A traffic jam forms and time runs out. Bernie on a real roll here as she heads towards number one. Great goal, Bernie. I love smashing it. <laughs> That's the best feeling. Delta sure had fun with that one. Tracy, you're a model. Did you ever think you'd be doing anything this glamorous? Not quite, Kimberly. No, not quite. I noticed you got a little bit stuck over in uh, the other corner there. Was that difficult to, to get the momentum started again? Yeah, it's like I come to a dead stop and it's like this big ball. How, how do I get it moving again? That's for sure. All 220 kilograms of it. Congratulations. Four points. Thanks, Kimberly. Ta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Bernadette, you scored yourself two points. Was it a difficult course? It was really difficult. I wasn't sure whether I'd roll over the, right over the top of number four or not, but obviously I just missed it, so missed out on another two points. Well, you did pretty well. Two points to you. Well, you certainly stopped Tracy and Bernadette. Uh, they did quite well, though. They got four points and two, so that wasn't too bad. What's the most difficult part for you guys? Oh, nothing actually uh, very difficult about this game because Delta and I just like to smash them. <laughs> so they're on the board. Two points for Bernie, four points for Tracy. After three games, that's also their total. And now the men are caged in and ready to go. In the red ball, we have Andrew. <laughs> And in the other corner, we have Adam in the blue. What's this? I'm a Queensland champion cyclist, and I think I'm one of the best in Australia. I wish all the gladiators luck, because they're going to need it. Chargers, ready! Gladiators, ready! Three, two, one! Referee John Alexander says rock and roll, and Andrew rockets out and heads for the centre. Oh, he's had a head on with Hammer, and he sends him towards goal. Can he control it? No! Condor giving Adam a bad time in the far corner. Adam going towards number two, but just can't get there. Andrew in the red gets away from Hammer and goes for the face. Yes, two points to Andrew. Andrew and Adam collide. Condor really giving Adam a hard time as Andrew goes over for another two. Hammer starts the chase again. And bangs Andrew away from goal. Bad luck, Andrew. A missed opportunity. As both Adam and Andrew start up again and head towards the top base. Who'll get there first? I think Andrew has. Yes, he gets pushed over the base. Two points to Andrew. Takes him to six. 
right on the whistle. The last goal was a race between the challengers. The Gladiators tried for a knockout, but Andrew scores. Andrew, I heard you growling and groaning there. You were caged in and ready to go. I'll tell you what, mate, that was the best spin I've ever had. It was great. I actually didn't particularly like it when I uh, first started with it. And, uh, and I just thought, you know, now that I've got those points, that was fantastic. Well, the boys had the teamwork working. Yes, we did. Well, we had a plan to start off to go for the guy on the left, and it, fortunately it worked up front and we cornered them, but they still went, went pretty well for their first time. You scored six points. Let's hear it for Andrew and the Gladiators. Success for Andrew, six points. Adam, two points. Andrew's now 16. Can Adam catch him with seven? That's the end of that ball game. Next, a stride, a tilting platform with a firm grip on the rope. That's after the break on Tilt with Cheetah. Cheetah, 24, 5 foot 5, 55 kilos. She's the quickest cat of them all. When Cheetah's out hunting, you can't run and you can't hide. That's the way she likes it. Bloody. I look tough, but you know something? I am tough. Bloody ears. Both of tonight's winners will go home with the Sony Music System, containing a five-disc changer, a gladiatorial 70 watts of power, and remote control. To play on the system, this great selection of CDs from Sony Music. Well over $2,000 value for our challenges tonight. Runners-up will enjoy this gym equipment from Elite Fitness. It's been a terrific night for challengers. Now it's... Tilt. A tug of war where the challenger has the advantage. Five points for a win. Flames back to send Tracy's hopes up in smoke. It's time for Tilt. And to start the game, John Alexander. Challenger, ready. Gladiator, ready. Take the strain. Three, two, one. Flame rocks that platform back and Tracy's got her hands full here. As Flame starts to reel her in, can she balance? No, it's all over. This is the secret of the game. Tilt your platform back and it's all over. Challenger ready. Radiator ready. Take the strain. Three, two, one. Flame has got to get that platform back. Tracy isn't giving her an inch. Flame sliding forward. She's losing her footing. Is this the end for Flame? Yes, she drags her off her pedestal. No chance for Flame to tilt backwards, and Tracy takes her off. 
Tracy, the first decision, uh, you came off. Second, you earned five points. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. What happened there? Um, uh, Flames tending to let the rope actually on the strain. She's actually letting it feed instead of holding it firm. And that's the problem that we had at the beginning. What's the word on that, John? Well, if she was letting the, the, the rope go, it means that she was pulling too tight on it. Right. Because they must just hold the rope firm and then pull on the whistle. So Flame wasn't to be disqualified? No. You grabbed her on the second. You stopped her from tilting it back? Yeah, that was close call. It was pretty close, <laughs> that's for sure. Good competitor, Flame? She was. It was a fair competition, one each. That is the hardest thing, though, when the challenger actually has to take the strain. If they actually don't just hold the rope straight and actually pull against it, you just start slipping straight away. Well, well done, Tracy, and let's hear it for Flame. A bit of a dispute with that match. Neither side really happy. One all. Bernie is in a strong position going on to the tilt. But Cheetah has some surprises awaiting her. And to start the tilt, John Alexander. Challenger, ready. Radiator, ready. Take the strain. Three, two, one. Did you see the determination on Bernie's face? Cheetah can't tilt. She's gone. That's how it's done. The gladiator forward on the wrong footing and down goes Cheetah. Take the strain. Three, two, one. Round two. Cheetah can't hold on. She's going, going, gone. Cheetah never had a chance. That's the way it's done, Bernie. You've earned ten points. Bernie, a cool ten points. Great. I needed it. It was easy for you, wasn't it? Uh, well, it was... Moderately easy. I think for once the gladiators are at a disadvantage, so... Well, that's for sure. And uh, obviously it was Cheetah's first time up there, so it's going to take a little bit of practice. A few nerves? Yes, definitely. The height was like, I thought, oh my goodness. And I just couldn't get my back foot back. A good sport there, Cheetah. Thank you. Thanks, Bernie. Bernie 10, Tracy 5. Bernie moves to 12, Tracy to 9. Advantage to Bernie in the eliminator. It's tug of war with a twist as Andrew takes on Taipan. And here's John Alexander to start the game. Challenger, ready. Radiator, ready. Take the strain. Three, two, one. Andrew going for this in a big way. He's heading up the rope and Taipan slithers off the platform. Andrew wanted all the rope he could get. A oh, Taipan never got his hand in. Take the strain. Three, two, one. Oh, it looks like a replay of the first game. And Andrew takes Taipan out again. Taipan just never got started. This wasn't his day. Two attempts, very successful. Ten points, Andrew. Thank you very much. What went wrong there, Taipan? Well, it's certainly not a matter of strength up there, it's just technique. Um, once you got the first break, it was all over. Yeah, and, and, and getting that platform back is very important. Very hard when you got the tension on the rope. Well, let's hear it for Taipan and our challenger, Andrew. It sure is close as we prepare for Adam fighting the awesome tower. John Alexander, it's all yours. Challenger, ready. Radiator, ready! Take the strain. Three, two, one! Tower goes straight back and Adam straining to pull him forward. But there's no way! Tower turns up the power. Can Adam hold on? No, you're gone, Adam. Oh. That's the secret. Tilt the platform back and the gladiators gotcha. prepared for a fight this time. Tower can't get the platform back and he's taken him. Second time round and he's finally got the hang of it. Five points for Adam. Adam, you were determined and determination has won you five points. It wasn't easy, was it, up there against Tower? No, it wasn't. In the, in the beginning, it seems to be a bit of a uh, technique for this game, which he's got down pat. 
And you mastered it in the second. Yeah, I wasn't really too uh, willing to let it go in the second round. Tower. You had him on the first one, but not so lucky in the second. Well, Mark said it all, Kimberly. If you don't get the technique down right, spot on, you're gone. Especially with the 25 degree angle, you're going to come off every time. So as we can see, it can go either way. Congratulations. Ten points for Andrew, five for Adam. Andrew has quite a lead going into the Eliminator. 26 against 12. The decision maker is upon us as we prepare for the final contest between our challengers. The Eliminator is up next. Bloody. The winner of the Eliminator will advance to the quarterfinals, so it's all stops out for a final dash to the finishing line. The two lucky winners of the final, if they have any energy left, will drive away in Hyundai's luxurious flagship, the Sonata Levant. With its 3-litre V6 engine, the Sonata has leather trim, cruise control, electric sunroof, power windows, central locking, ABS brakes and an airbag for added safety. Eliminator. The ultimate obstacle course, and Bernie gets a one and a half second start. Well, here we go. It's time for the eliminator. Bernie, you have a one and a half second lead. It's not much, but I am confident. I'll just give it my best shot. No, it isn't much. Do you think you can catch her, Tracy? Yeah, well, it's very close call, so there's not a great difference in one and a half seconds. Well, we'll see you at the other end, ladies. Good luck. Thanks, Thanks nice a lot. Bernie, you're going my whistle. Tracy, you're going John's. Three, two, one. Bernie has a slight lead and she's off like a rocket. Tracy having a little bit of trouble negotiating the first hurdle. Bernie's quicksilver under the low beam and she's up to the rope climb. What great upper body strength. Tracy a bit taller and not so nimble. Look at Bernie fly across the monkey bars. Tracy struggling on the rope. Bernie's completed the monkey bars. Tracy's still struggling as Bernie flies across the rolling logs. She's a pocket dynamo, this girl, as she hits the cargo net and climbs it like her life depended on it. Increasing her lead every step of the way. She's nearly at the top now. Tracy's still struggling on the monkey bars. What a great climb there by Bernie as she negotiates the flying fox. A good drop imperative. That was. Well done, Bernie. Balance beam next. Tracy's still struggling on the cargo net. Oh, look how cool she is. She's doing it easy. Bernie off the balance beam. Travelator to come. There she goes. Oh, nearly slips at the top, but she's done well. Well done, Bernie, as she goes through the banner. Bernie's our champion. As Tracy comes down the flying fox, a great drop. Tracy's not giving up. A good time important for her as she comes to the balance beam. Let's see how she goes here. Nice and easy. Oh, nearly fell there. 
just the travel I need to get up. There she goes. Come on, Tracy. Look at the determination. She's there. She's home. Well done, Tracy. Tracy goes through in second place. Bernie's our champion. Let's cross down to Kimberly. Bernie, congratulations. You're the winner of the Eliminator. Was it tough? It was very tough, but I was really looking forward to it and I had heaps of energy at the start. And you're into the quarterfinal. Congratulations. Tracy, it was pretty tough, wasn't it? It is tough and like they say, may the best man win and she did a really good job. So She certainly did. Yeah. Well done to you both Great. and good luck in the quarterfinal. Thanks a lot. Well, gentlemen, we're here at the Eliminator. Andrew, you've been great all night. You've managed to give yourself a seven-second lead. Uh, you're confident that that's going to be enough? Well, yeah, I hope, hope it's going to be um, enough to beat uh, Adam here. Adam, a seven-second lead. It's not too daunting. No, it's not too daunting. We'll just have to wait and see what happens with his lead. Anything can happen in the Eliminator. Guys, I'd like to wish you best of luck with the Eliminator. Let's hear it for Adam and Andrew. Andrew, you will go on my whistle. Adam, you will go on John's. Three, two, one. Andrew's got seven seconds up his sleeve, but he's going for broke. It must seem like an hour for Adam. And he's finally off and scorching along. Andrew up the rope climb. Across the monkey bars, two at a time. Doing it nice and easy is Andrew. Across the rolling locks, here comes Adam, and Andrew's onto the cargo net. He's going up it like a pirate with a price on his head, increasing his lead all the time. Adam struggling on the monkey bars. Andrew's up the top of the net, flying fox next. Down he goes. This is a great swing and a good drop for Andrew. Balance beam coming up. Adam's still struggling. There goes Andrew, flies across the balance beam. Oh, he's cocky as he goes up the travel ladder. He's doing it well, and Andrew comes through, our men's champion for tonight. In what a great time, 54.5 seconds. That'll be hard to beat throughout the series. Adam coming down the flying fox. Nice drop. Adam still needs a good time, they tell him, so that's what he's going for. Up the balance beam, doing it well. Off he goes, go hard, and he does, right up the trap ladder. Oh, nearly stumbles at the top, but he's got there. Takes the rope through the banner, and Adam comes through in second place. Andrew's our champion. Let's cross to Aaron. Andrew, that's seven seconds. It did wonders. I'll tell you what, I stuck to my plan. I flew up that cargo net, <laughs> and it felt fantastic. Congratulations, you're into the quarterfinals. Thanks. Adam, unfortunately, you're... Come second best, but uh, he did have a second, seven second lead. Yeah, he had a good lead on me, and uh, I have to congratulate him. I chased as hard as I could, and I uh, couldn't quite catch him, so good on you, man. Thanks, man. You've both been great sportsmen. I'd like to congratulate you both. Adam and Andrew. Andrew and Bernadette now move ahead to the quarterfinals where they will face other men and women who have made it through. And then, if they can keep on climbing the ladder to the top, they have the chance to make it through to the grand final. And our grand finalists are then off to England to compete in the International Gladiators. They'll fly there courtesy of KLM, Royal Dutch Airlines, and they won't be going alone. Four of our gladiators will tag along to keep them out of mischief. And when our challengers get to England, they'll be able to phone home on their Optus Mobile. Thank you for being a part of a night to remember. Until next week, when we have more action, good night. Good night.